YouTube. Hey, Mercedes W163 ML fans. Um, I've got a fix here for the cargo, rear cargo, rear seat cargo plate carpet coming loose problem. You can see it's also happening to my seat back there. There's the seat back carpeting. It's fine on this larger side, the 60% side, the 40% side came loose. Uh, the carpeting on these two plates here was loose. This is the one that folds. It's the larger of the two plates. It can only go up so far because the seat back is up. This one goes up further because this, the um, rear passenger seat back is down. Okay, so what you're seeing here is I've got Gorilla Tape on the edges here. And underneath I used Gorilla Brand Super Glue Tape along the edges the, where the plastic and the carpeting meet as it wraps around the edge and then also in an X pattern in the middle. But what I'm referring to to make this uh, modification repair upgrade super glue tape and then a one inch wide gorilla tape and I'm hoping that holds. <clears throat> I'm just kind of pioneering this here. I didn't really see any other videos explaining this and in a minute I'll put my tape on that portion there um, and then show you what it looks like right before I press it down. And so, you know, this is a provisional fix. These MLs are now quite old. My uh, ML 500 here is well kept, runs very well, other than a minor thing or two. And it's got 180,000 miles on it and is a 2002. So this being 2024, it's a 22 year old vehicle. And I mean, three more years, it'll be an antique in some states. Pretty crazy thought, huh? But still gets 19 to 20 miles per gallon and uh, runs very well. Uh, I think it's got a lot of years left in it if I'll just care for it. But part of that is making sure these little fixes happen. And the reason for these plates is to provide a ramp in case you run with the seat backs down, but the seat bottom up, meaning the thing in this position here. But also you can pull this lever and lower the seat down. So I'm planning on hopefully transporting a small inflatable kayak in here if it'll, if it'll fit. Uh, jury's still out on that. But to do so, I'll need to remove the headrest here, fold the seat flat, put it all the way forward, and then have these down. And I think it's worth a try anyways. And it will allow me to sleep or camp in the back of this thing, which I really haven't done before because um, one thing to point out is these seat mechanisms can have either broken cables or out of adjustment or something preventing them, from, like something gets stuck under there in that gap beneath the seat. I've got those little curtains off so you can kind of see but you basically have to make sure your seats operate correctly. And I had them out here because I was doing the fuel pump. So my son and I checked the lube and checked their function. And we believe we got them working all correct. I'm not going to put the curtains on until I'm sure they go up and down seamlessly and flawlessly. Okay, there you go. I'll put on the tape and then I'll show you how that looks. And you can have a fix. Because when that carpeting's coming loose, it just is a mess. You know, you go to set something in there and it all bunches up. And yeah, it, it's, it's irritant. One of those minor irritants that makes you uh, despair of having an older vehicle. Uh, surveys show that when three things go wrong with vehicles, people tend to sell them or trade them in. And um, most people not being very handy, that means that a lot of vehicles get traded in that don't need to be, just because if you attend to these small things, you can drive them indefinitely. All right, uh, stay tuned. It won't be long for you. I'll just pause it and then show you in a sec. Okay, here we are a minute or two later. <clears throat> I put the double-sided tape on here. You can see I kind of did all the edges that are exposed. Um, I didn't want to rip the carpeting any further back than it already was. If it ever comes lo loose above that, it'll do the same thing in the area that comes loose. But that stuff is so sticky. When you push down this, um, this carpeting, it's going to stick like nobody's business. So what I'm going to do is very carefully kind of lay it down here. Let me see if I can set the phone camera down. So just gently kind of push down, do it evenly. There's, make sure you're getting it where you want it because I guarantee you, you're not gonna pull it up again. Now that's, <laughs> ain't coming up. Anyhow, there you go. And the only thing to quibble over here is there are some edges that didn't get tucked in, but I kind of determined that I can't really re-tuck them. I don't really care about that. You know, to try and tuck that in there would make it impossible to get this to lay flat. So I'm going to I'm going to fight my battles uh in the best way I know how. Okay. So that looks good. And that's Gorilla Glue 
double-sided tape. You could probably use other kinds of double-sided tape. I just thought I'd use the $6 fancy pants stuff. They had stuff for two bucks, three bucks, four bucks. Um, but this one, the liner actually came off. It's funny because getting the liner off these double-sided tape containers is sometimes really tough. Anyhow, there you go. So I hope that works for you. Hope that helps. Here's the ML500. Let me see. I'll prove it to you. Yeah, right here. There we go. ML500 and come and take it. Straight from Texas. <laughs> All righty. So God bless everyone. Um, keep these MLs going. Worthwhile endeavor, but they're they're durable. They're they're sturdy. If you can keep the electronics from driving you crazy, is the main challenge. Go to bensworld.org, pick the W163 for them if you need help. And there'll be guys there who know, probably been through what you've been through. Or you can just do a Google search and search what uh, posts have been um, put online over the years. I do that for any problem. And frankly, I've had this vehicle now for eight years and I paid all of 4,000 bucks for it, which is a song. Um, but back in 2016, they weren't worth much. Most That's all you could get for a really nice condition 02, which was then um, 14 years old. This is nine years later. Nine years? Well, eight years later, and um, I'm not happy. I'm, I'm very happy I purchased this vehicle, worth every penny of my four thousand bucks. And if I sold it today, I'd get my four or five thousand bucks right out of it. So take care and God bless everybody. Bye.